What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira and today we are at the Olivetes Winery in Funchal and we're going to show you or at least help you buy a bottle of Madeira wine. Let's go. The Olivetes is one of the most long established companies in Madeira and has an extensive range of Madeira wines and a lovely tasting room in central Funchal. The company Pereira de Oliveira was founded in 1850 and is still in the hands of the founding family. This wine company represents five generations of vast knowledge and experience dedicated to the production of the fortified wines of Madeira. The Oliveira is reported to produce about 150,000 liters of wine per year and produces a wide range of wines including Tinta Negra wines at 3, 5, 10 and 15 year old. The Oliveira also produces Circeal, Verdelo, Bual, Malmzi and Terrentej wines. The De Oliveira's building is one of the oldest in Funchal dating back to the 17th century. The Olivetas offers a free wine tasting, which I believe is not something that you see too much in Madeira. Uh, obviously, if you're coming here and you're gonna have free tastings, you should buy something at least. And that's where I fit in, because I'm gonna help you choose the right bottle of Madeira wine. So they've given us this uh, cool little uh, pamphlet, which explains loads of awesome things about our wines and um, yeah, very cool information, thank you. So we're kicking it off with these two bottles. These are two three-year wines, right? So this is the very minimum of Madeira wine is a three-year wine. How to tell if a bottle is a three-year because it doesn't always say three years on the bottle. In fact, if you look at a bottle and it doesn't say anything, it's probably a three-year wine and it's probably made with the Tinta Negra grape. So 85% of all of the grapes in Madeira are Tinta Negra, all right, which obviously all goes for Madeira wine and, or at least the majority of it goes for Madeira wine. I'm not sure if there's people doing um, red wines with Tinta Negra. These wines are basically what you're gonna find um, when somebody gives you some Madeira wine for free. So if you go to a restaurant and you get a free little shot of Madeira wine, or if you get a bottle of Madeira wine at your Airbnb or something like that, most probably it's gonna be this kind of wine. I personally think that if you're going for the cheapest Madeira wine possible, that you should go for the sweetest one. Uh, so over here in this case, we've got a medium sweet, which is actually my favorite. Also, these are great for cocktails. So Andre, you wanna have a little sweet with me? Actually, let's start with the, we got this here, we're gonna drink it, right? This is a medium dry, remember the, the Madeira one goes from dry, medium dry, medium sweet and sweet. So uh, we're starting off with the less sweet. Cheers, Andre. Mm. It is a little bit harsh, obviously being a three year wine. So uh, moving on, let's move on to the five year wine. Fun fact. Only wines produced in Madeira can be called Madeira, right? Just like port, all right? This means that this is a destination, official destination proved, uh, something of that extent. The official term is DOP. DOP stands for Dominação de Origem Progida. So that means that it's Madeira. There are some uh, Madeira wines made in America, for instance, that are predominantly used for cooking, but they cannot be called Madeira because it's not made in Madeira, it's not grown in Madeira. So they usually in the bottle, they call it type Madeira, apparently. Five year uh, bottle now this time. Of course, one step up from the three years. If I was gonna buy any kind of bottle for myself or for someone else, the absolute minimum that I would go for is a five year. So that's one thing said. It doesn't say the name of the grape 
uh, on the on the label, which means it's Tinta Negra, probably, and I'm pretty sure that this one is Tinta Negra. Um, but in some occasions, with other wineries, you can find the noble grapes, such as Malvasia, Bual, which we'll get into, which are different uh, varieties. And if you can get a five year of one of those, that's also a pretty special bottle. Um, but I have no doubt that this is gonna be good. So if I only had, you know, like 15, 20 bucks, then this is the kind of bottle that I would go for. Andre, to us. Best job in the world. Jeff. Best job in the world. <laughs> <laughs> mm. This, by the way, is the wine that made Madeira famous, uh, which is the sweet wine. Uh, actually, it's the Malvasia wine that made it famous, which we'll get into a little bit later. But if you're looking for the most traditional wines, you're looking for a medium sweet or a sweet. Moving along. Now, if I was gonna buy a bottle for myself or for a loved one, a especially a specially loved one, right? So like a mother, a father, so someone like this, a wine lover, uh, I would not think about anything less than 10 years, right? A good Madeira wine starts at 10 years. Of course, three to five years is not enough time for it to be in the barrel to gain all of those characteristics, which is where the famous Madeira wine uh, gets its reputation and its beautiful taste from. So when you're buying your bottle of wine, you can get yourself a 10, at least a 10 to a 15 year wine for somewhere in the middle of, uh, you know, somewhere between 20 to 30 uh, or 25 to 35 euros. That's the kind of, um, you know, price range that we're looking for. So this one over here is a medium, uh, medium sweet um, at the back here it has mentioned I just looked at it real quick that it is in fact Tinta Negra and this is something that we're seeing more now in Madeira more wineries are using Tinta Negra for more specialized wines before Tinta Negra used to be seen as uh, the cheap stuff kind of thing but people are actually starting to make a very specific Tinta Negra so uh, I'm curious to try it as well I must admit that I don't think I've ever had a 10 year Tinta Negra uh, as much as I love my Madeira wine. So, um, Andre, you, re <laughs> you ready? By the way, this would be considered a junior vintage, Andre. So now we're starting to drink the real, the real deal, huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Oh wow! You can you can taste the difference, right? I like it. You yeah, like it. You can really taste the difference. It's approved. <laughs> I don't have a bottle of Madeira wine at home. Can you believe it? Uh, it's that's a yeah. That's really. And I'm making videos and you know telling people to buy Madeira wine. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Right. Before we get to the next wine, the last wine that we're going to show you today, I got something special to show you. Over the last 200 years, De Oliveiras has acquired at least six producers and exports of Madeira wine integrated within this company. De Oliveiras is believed to have very considerable stocks of older wines. Only approximately 20% of the annual production of the harvest was sold in Madeira Island, keeping the remaining for maturation and investment. In this warehouse, there are a large number of barrels and casks with aging wines inside, some of them that are over 100 years old. The wineries in Madeira started putting the young wines up at the top in the attics. And what would happen is, of course, being on the roof on the attic, the heat would slowly cook the wine in the barrels and give it its flavor. And it's very cool to see that the Oliveiras, just like a couple of other places in Funchal, of course, are still using this tactic. And it's awesome to actually be up here and to smell this. This is not part of the regular tour. So uh, thank you uh, for the guys at the Oliveira to uh, show us this and, and be able to actually document this for you guys. It's really awesome. I mean, being a love of Madeira wine, uh, actually, I love being up here and just being around. Really, really, Awesome wine. Bem, esta é pequenininha, tarantejo, 
Será que posso levar este, Sr. Felipe? Pode, pode. Fica à vontade. Se for com ele. Sim, posso levar. Não posso fazer, não sei. Eu preciso de help. Preciso de ajudar. Sim. Esta nail é centuries old. Centuries, a nail. I wonder, I wonder what it's worth. Just the nail? Hey, just the nail. You guys want to buy a nail from uh, 14, 16, 1600s? Hey? Sr. Felipe, muito obrigado para toda a sua colaboração, para a sua hospitalidade. É assim que se diz, hospitalidade. <laughs> e uh, para mostrar este cantinho do céu. Então, é um paraíso no meio da cidade que esperemos uh, um dia em breve uh, esteja aberto ao público em geral. Muito obrigado. Vocês uh, vêm visitar. Uh, you guys, come and visit the Oliveiras. This place is awesome. And uh, yeah, we still have a little bit of work to do, so uh, don't go away yet. Uh, let's get out of here. And uh, we've got a small little mission for you. Stay tuned. Now it's time to get serious, all right? If we had our way, this is what we'd call a vintage. Unfortunately, we're not allowed to call it a vintage because port wine, uh, from Portugal, from Porto, the famous port wine, uh, has indeed trademarked the name vintage and does not allow Madeira wines to be called vintages. But for all simplicity's sake, this is what you would consider a type of vintage. Uh, in Madeira, we call this a fresh gator. Basically, whenever you see a bottle that's actually painted white, in this case here in the Olivetas, they actually hand paint uh, each one of these bottles uh, with this white letters. It's the same as what you'd see in that book I mentioned earlier about Alex Liddell in a previous episode, all with the Madeira written in white, it means that it's a vintage. This is in fact a single harvest. This is one of my favorite grapes. This is from the Bual variety. So for the first time now, we are trying a different grape. Everything that up until now was Tinta Negra. And there are typically four maybe five noble grapes uh, that are produced each for the type of wine that they are producing. So a Bual is typically a medium sweet uh, variety, but then you also get the Malvasia, which is the sweet, and then the drier wines, which is the Circial and the Verdelho, uh, which I've forgotten exactly which one is which. I always forget, it's one of my, one of those things that I always forget which one is, dry and which one is medium dry. So this is a very special bottle of, of wine. This is the real deal, right? For all of you wine lovers, wine connoisseurs, you can come out here and you can see the extensive collection just looking around. I mean, there is all sorts of dates and grape varieties available here. So you can see all of that stuff. And I know that there's award-winning ones this one here, in fact, has got a gold for the 26 Berlin wine trophy and I don't know what else. And without me talking too much about this, we are going to try it. But in fact, this is the special stuff. So if you're looking for a very special bottle of Madeira, then you want to get something that's written in white, single harvest, freshkeda, or what they also call uh, culeta as well. So, Andre. It's not every day you get to, to try a 2001 Bual. And I believe 2001 was a good year, eh? That was the year that <laughs> I went to school for the first time. <laughs> there we go. It's good. You can tell as I mean, well the difference. Of course it's good. <laughs> right. Of course. Oh, wow. Well. It's not over yet. We've got something super duper special for you guys right now. Something that I love to talk to, talk about. And uh, one of my, how do I say this? I'm kind of obsessed uh, a little bit with this uh, next wine variety. So uh, without further ado, let's talk about investing in wine, right? We're talking business. I'm just talking uh, investing in wine uh, with the next uh, variety. So are you ready for this? Hold on, I'm not gonna do it like this because does it say, can you see the date on it? 
No, the other way. The other way. The other way. More, more, more. Yeah. You can see the date? Yeah, you can see the date. Sorry. Oh, I was on panorama. This is something special, all right? If you've got yourself a good one and a half grand, uh, you can get yourself a over a hundred year, hundred and almost a hundred and fifty year uh, wine from one of these wineries. Of course, it is a white label. It is a single harvest from the 19th century. And it is a certain type of grape that is used for the medium dry, medium dry wines. Actually, I always thought it was the medium sweet, but uh, the people have told me it's medium dry, uh, which is Tegentesh. And Tegentesh is a grape variety that is slowly becoming extinct uh, in Madeira. It's a very difficult grape to grow. So this is a very sought after um, grape and wine. If you're looking at investing in Madeira wine, which might be uh, you know, a bit of a long shot for most of us, but uh, for those wine connoisseurs who are collecting wine, this is what you want to get. So we're not tasting this, of course, right? We just, we're not doing anything with this. We're just going to put it away safely. But over here, uh, the, the people from uh, the Olivators, and of course, thank you again to the Olivators for collaborating with us are kindly giving us a tasting of this 1971 Terentej, which will probably be the finest Madeira wine that I've ever drunk. So, is that how you say it? Drunk or drank? Drank. Drank. So, uh, that's me being an idiot on YouTube. Without any further ado, this one, we have to toast this one to something. Oh, yeah. To okay. you guys. To all of you guys who are watching. Almost 6,000. Almost 6,000. By the time this video comes out, we might have 6,000 followers. So this is a great time to say thank you to all, each and every one of you. We appreciate you, we love you. Please write a comment below on what you thought of this and what, you know, whatever you want to say really, we're, we'd love to hear from you all. Andrea, to bigger and better things. Hell yeah, this one is older than my mom. <laughs> Cheers. I mean, I can't even actually explain it. Like you can taste, you can actually taste the vintageness of it. You know, it's got these very like deep flavors. I'm not a very good wine taster, but I know when it's good and uh, it is good. You so can taste the vintage, yeah, know. they're not gonna offer this to absolutely everybody, right? Just so you know. So if you wanna get involved in stuff like this and you have to buy stuff, right? Please, when you come here, buy yourselves a good bottle and maybe they'll treat you nice, right? Guys, we've come to the end of our September, September month, right? So this one is for me and Andrea. Nothing crazy, it's just a house wine with Coke. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like it. I mean, it's nothing compared to the amazing wines we had today, but uh, anyway, let's check it out. It's good. I'm gonna ask for some ice, I think. <laughs> but other than that, it's great. Thank you to everybody who participated in this September's wine month. So thanks to all the wineries, thanks to all the people who are involved in the videos. Thanks again to the Olivetas, uh, and thanks to you guys for watching. Check out our Patreon account where you're gonna get all the extras, all the hidden benefits of being part of the Hit The Road family. Right, for only four euros fifty, you can get access to all of our extras, uh, where to eat, where to drink, and who to partner up with in Madeira. So trust me, that's where it's all at. There's loads of new stuff coming, and that's where we're gonna announce it. Andre, let's hit the road. Let's hit the road. See you guys next week.